the story of Rene Descartes. Nice little animation of him there, courtesy of Jonathan. I really like that. Let's get right into it. Uh, once upon a time, in Indre, Lyon, France, there lived a boy named Rene Descartes. When Rene was just a year old, his mother Jean passed away, unfortunately. He had to grow up without a mommy, but his father was a member of the Parliament of Britain, a position which earned his father a lot of money. Because of this, his father was able to send him to a good school. Rene went to the Jesuit college, Royal Henry Le Grand, when he was only 10 years old. It was here where he first learned math and physics. Got a little illustration there. <laughs> Next year, Rene's army was sent to Newbury and Durgaard. <coughs> While he was stationed there, Rene had three very powerful dreams, which he later said changed his life forever. The dreams told him that following science, for him anyways, was the same as following his wisdom. He also decided that all truths are connected to <coughs> each other, and that following up one truth with common sense would open up new scientific avenues of discovery. These dreams also led him to coin his famous, I think, therefore I am quote. Got any bed there? Rene's actions and thoughts brought him to the metaphysical philosophy. Philosophy, philosophy is a way a person thinks and a way in which they live by. If you think TV is no good for you, that's a philosophy. Anyway, metaphysics is a branch of philosophy that looks at the nature of reality, including the connection between soul and body. The soul expresses our emotion and is not a physical part of us. The body is all our body parts that make us live. Descartes believes the body has material things, but the soul does not. In other words, he wants to see how the soul and body react together and how it affects the choices we make. He also argues if God is real and defends human, humans' right of free will, which means our choice to do things. Some of his writings talk about the body and soul. Some of Renee's writings about the soul and about body are Meditation on First Philosophy, which was published in 1641, and A Description of Human Body in 1647, and The Passion of the Soul in 1649. And that's just Meditation on First Philosophy, Rene talks about six different checkups. These checkups are steps for us people to make sure we're following. They make us stay true to ourselves and not act how other people want us to act, simply because they tell us to do so. The checkups also talk about whether or not God is real. He argues that if God is real and how no, he argues if God is real and how it connects to the way we humans live. Rene says that we can only experience things that are in this world, in this world, and there is no proof. Yeah, and there is no proof that the images or experiences we have are from the outside world. We got a little list of rules there. In the year 1647, the description of the human body was written. 
Monet believes the human body is the same as a machine. The body is a machine that makes our heartbeat, breathe, pump blood, and many other things. On the other hand, the soul makes humans think with their minds. It makes the body do more than just stay alive. In other words, the soul makes the body do what your emotions tell you to do. For example, if you like playing sports, the soul is happy because your body is playing sports. His final published work was Passions of the Soul, and it was written in 1649. Descartes focuses on more on the soul, the title, Passion of the Soul, which takes after what it says. Passion means anything, means wanting something really bad. Rene believes that the main job of the soul is to have passion for being human. So, like, kids would have passion. Rene was, since Rene was more focused in more modern things like math and physics, he is considered to be a modern philosopher. His writings about the soul and the body also contributed, or gave, to make him known as the father of modern philosophy. His contributions to math were also key to the discovery of calculus and analysis. He was a very important figure during the scientific revolution, which was a really big period in time where a lot of people started to find out about things that would later shape their views and morals. And that's a wrap.